Hey gang, this is Mike. Today I'm gonna to be doing an open box on a knife that I just ordered um, from REI. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a really big REI fan and they had a smoking deal going on, 55% off. So I went ahead and ordered this amazing knife. It's a SOG knife. Um, what I'm opening it up with is a Benchmade Bellaham. I just ordered this too, but I'm not reviewing this one. I mean, I'm reviewing the uh, SOG flat blade here's the bad boy right here it just came in pretty excited um, it looks like a humongous knife it's just like what I ordered it looks like it might have been open already but we'll see All right. there is this knife Feels good in the hand, has a lot of motion in it. It just looked like it might have been open, so I just wanted to examine it to make sure it wasn't. Um, but REI has a great return policy. Feels pretty good in, in the hand, it's pretty solid. Okay, um, this is a Korean design. It's a tactical knife. I don't know if you can, guys can see the blade on it. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, um, but I think it's four and a half inches. And this is a Bellingham Benchmade. So this is a $200 knife, this is a $250 knife. And let me go ahead and put this on here. And this is a Microtech, so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, a Microtech, I don't know if you guys know what a Microtech is, but they're pretty famous knives out there. So we have like a three and a half, almost four, and then a four and a half inch blade, okay? It, it, it looks real good. The handle's a little bit smaller than I thought it will be, but it fits me really good. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit bigger. But so far it looks really good. It has really good wedges. I like that look on the top right here. It's just solid. I don't know if you guys can see the the design on it. All right, let's see what else is in here. It has a really nice sheet that it came with, uh, multiple. And that's that's one of the reasons that I ordered this because it did came with a really nice sheet. Uh, I could put my knife into it. So it'll go like this. Very nice grip. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't come out. And that's one of the things, because I'm basically gonna put this on my backpack, um, so it's stationary. Comes out great. Um, now, was I, by looking at it, was I a little disappointed? I, I, I think I should've got the five and a half instead of the four and a half. You know, uh, I was looking for a bigger blade. Now, compared to this, you know, this has a lot more edge to it, uh, where this is mostly handles. Uh, so yes, I did get a bigger blade, um, but I should have got with the five and a half inch versus the four and a half, but it's a solid knife. Uh, I think that it's gonna do its job perfectly. It has this really cool texture on it. It's a full, full tang, which means it steals all the way, comes across, unlike this one. Uh, so it should be very, very tough. It's an Aus 8 blade, uh, not the best. Here's the LMAX. It's an LMAX blade, top of the line, premium steel. This is a 154 CM. But guys, um, you know, I had, this is my third Microtech, and I can tell you, just because it's LMAX doesn't mean it's a better quality. Um, many people think it is. But I'm super int int uh, hyped to get it. I'll do more reviews on it. I'll use it and abuse it and give you guys an update. Um, but simply put, it's a sweet knife, man. It's a sweet knife. Oh. Just wrap around right here, right? Once I put the other clip in, just clip right there. How does it look? Good. Looks really good, man, really good. All right, guys, I'll do a long-term review and give you guys an update on how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button, share this message. Let me know what kind of knife you hold. Peace.